On sheet two, you're to convert this um, group of data. And so if we do control end, not clicked on the table, sorry, control end, we can see that we've got 139 rows of data. Control home to go back in to the top um, that include all kinds of information. And so to analyze this data, a pivot table is an excellent option. So we're just going to do insert pivot table. Um, and we're going to do a new worksheet. In this new worksheet, we're supposed to name pivot table and locate it right after sheet two. Okay, so now we're going to build our pivot table here by using the controls over here. And so the instructions tell us that on the left, um, get back to my instructions, on the left, we're going to put banks and then bedrooms across the top of the table. And so we find banks listed here, and we drag banks to rows, since that's going to be on the left, and then bedrooms to the columns, since that's going to be across the top. So we've got the number of bedrooms here, and then we want rate as the value. And the default is sum, but the instructions specifically say to do an average of rate, so we're going to change this to average. And we want that to be in the percentage format. So we'll click on that. Click OK. And then we're going to change the labels here. So we've got banks and so that's explanatory. And the next step we're going to do is turn off these um, grand totals here that are for the rows. OK, so we go to design. And here under grand totals, we want them on for columns only. And then we're going to add spark lines right here. So we just highlight this data, go to insert spark lines, and we're going to place those spark lines here. So we've got the data, all the percentage data I highlighted, and then the location is that column next to it. And I think that we've got everything done for that table. Now we're going to return to that same set of data we began with on sheet two and we're going to create one of the recommended pivot tables. So we just go to insert and instead of pivot tables we're going to choose recommended pivot tables. And it says just to choose the first one so I'm going to click OK. And after we do that we're going to insert some slicers for bedrooms and let's see what was I supposed to insert those slicers for um, bedrooms and house type so we'll put a check in bedrooms and house type click OK and we've got those slicers and then it specifically said to move them just to the right of the table and to change them to be two by two. The default is too high, so we just have to change the, or too wide, so we just have to change that to too high. And then we're going to insert a column pivot chart. So if we click on the pivot table, then we can click pivot chart and just choose the first column type there. I'm gonna move that down to this area below. And that just a little bit. And the instruction said to remove this legend and these field buttons. The legend you can actually just click on and hit delete. Um, but the field button you've got to go up here to the analyze tab and just hit that toggle button there to turn off the field buttons. The only thing left here is to format this um, as a counting number format. And we can do that here. Um, you can also do that by clicking the drop down arrow in the sum of purchase price and going to number format. Um, let's make sure we've got everything done. <coughs> we need to rename this one pivot table 2 and locate it here. And that will conclude the steps for